So I've just left my beautiful yurt. Uh, it's 7 a.m. I've had an early start this morning because I now have a five hour drive up to uh, Scrabster, which is at the top of Scotland. And that is where I'm getting the ferry over to the Orkney Islands. Okay, so I've just pulled up at my hip camp accommodation for the night, which is on Weems Organic Farm, and it is called an oyster catcher. From the pictures I've seen, it's like a wooden structure. I think it's very minimalist in the fact that it's just like a mattress, I think, inside this wooden hut, uh, which is fine with me. I have all my camping stuff in my car. So yeah, I'm gonna go find it. So for anyone who doesn't know too much about Orkney or the Orkney Islands, there are 70 islands over here. A lot of them are connected by bridges, um, so you can drive between a lot of them. Some of them you can only access by ferries. Only 20 of the 70 islands are actually inhabited. So there's a few little facts about Orkney for you. One of the places I really want to see over here is the Old Man of Hoy, which is on the Isle of Hoy, which is the most, I think would be the most, the hilliest, uh, even though I think the the highest hill is probably 400 odd meters so it's not nothing huge but um hoy looks pretty special to me and it has the old man of hoy which is a sea stack it's actually a 449 foot sea stack which is pretty big and it just happens to be like the furthest possible place from where i'm staying so i'm on south ronaldsey so to get to the isle of hoy i need to do a one hour drive back to stromness ferry a 25 minute ferry over to hoy i need to get a 20 minute taxi to ranwick which is where the route starts from and then it's a three hour round trip hike to the old man of hoy so that's possibly the most effort i've ever gone to to see a sea stack or to see many things for that matter so i'm really hoping it'll be worth it and i'm hoping it does not disappoint and i'm hoping i don't get blown off the islands because it's insanely windy today <laughs> look at that you can see just from the grass how crazy windy it is thank you Well, I've set off to go and find the old man of Hoy. The weather doesn't really know what it's doing. Uh, one minute it's quite nice, and the next it's raining, but it's all good. But Hoy looks beautiful. You can see some gorgeous cliffs over there. 
Well, I've got my yummy super noodles. I've got my wine and I have this gorgeous view of Orkney from the front of my lovely little hut, which I love. Um, so perfect end to an awesome trip. I wish I had more time here, but I definitely recommend visiting Orkney if you get the chance. It's so beautiful here. It's so unique, um, so quiet and peaceful and beautiful and scenic. So much to see, so much history. I will share in the description, first of all, the hip camp that I stayed at, the link to that with a little discount code and also a list of the places I visited and some others that I didn't get to visit that you possibly could if you had more time. So that will all be in the description of the video. Um, two things I will say if you are visiting Orkney is check the ferry timetables. With some of the ferries, you do have to be there half an hour before, otherwise you won't get on. So just plan ahead and also bring as much stuff with you as you can. There are a few shops over here, but um, I made sure I had my car stocked up with food and drinks and everything, and that's made my life a lot easier. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think. And um, I hope you visit Orkney, let me know if you do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I don't know where I'll be, but I'm sure it'll be fun.